مرحبا اوكي ان ذس سيشن وي وونت تو ليرن اباوت ا نيو انذر تكنيك ان كومبيناتوريكس كولد ذا بيجن هول برينسيبل اوكي سو ليت مي ستيت وات از ذا برينسيبل اند ذن اي هاف سم اكزامبلز اون ات سو ذا ذا برينسيبل سيز سبوز ذير ار ان بيجنز اوكي ذير ار ان بيجنز Okay, so what is a pigeon? A pigeon in Arabic is ta'ir al-hamam. Okay. So suppose we have n pigeons, and uh, not uh, remember that like pigeon people who raise pigeons, they raise them in the at the roofs, and the pigeons stay in uh, wooden boxes called pigeon holes. Okay. So suppose there are n pigeons and m pigeon holes. and m pigeon holes okay so the pigeon holes are the boxes where the pigeons uh, stay in the night okay so suppose there are n pigeons and m pigeons where the number of pigeons n is strictly bigger than the number of pigeon holes okay so we have n pigeons m pigeon holes and pigeons are more than strictly bigger than the pigeon holes then now suppose now all the n pigeons goes uh, go to stay in the pigeon holes then there must be there is at least one pigeon hole at least one pigeon hole one box okay which has at least two pigeons which has okay at least two pigeons maybe more okay okay again what we are saying the principle says okay we have n pigeons and we have m pigeon holes the pigeon holes are the wooden boxes where the pigeons stay and suppose the number of pigeons is strictly bigger than the pigeon holes and now all imagine all of the n pigeons go to stay in the pigeon holes then you can you have to find one pigeon hole one box which has at least two pigeons or more okay so here is a picture okay so imagine he Okay. Here is the picture of what uh, what is the pigeon hole is saying. Okay, so imagine you have one. So here we have. Okay, so here we have in this example we have nine pigeon holes, right? Then we have nine boxes. one okay and we have 10 pigeons since 10 is strictly bigger than 9 then at least one pigeon hole must contain at least two pigeons so where is where is this pigeon hole it's this one okay. you see this pigeon hole has so now the 10 pigeons went to stay in the nine pigeon holes and one of the pigeons pigeon holes contains two at least two maybe more okay and this is the pigeon this will always uh, be true so i mean okay let's take for example uh, suppose for simplicity we have four pigeons Okay, and three pigeon holes. The pigeon hole principle says no matter how you put the four pigeons inside the three pigeon holes, one pigeon hole must contain at least two pigeons. Okay, so let's uh, uh, do several trials. Here are the three pigeon holes, and suppose we have four pigeons, each pigeon represented by a star. Now suppose this pigeon hole flies and goes into this pigeon hole. Okay. Now okay. 
and now the second one flies and the third one flies and the fourth one flies and here is the second one say here is the third one and here is the fourth one okay so you see that this pigeonhole contains two pigeons and if you do it another in in any way you try to do it so suppose here is the first pigeon here is the second here is the third and now no matter where the fourth will fly into say it, it flew into this pigeon hole then this is the pigeon hole which contains two okay another scenario is that the first pigeon goes into this pigeon hole the second goes into this one and the third into this one and the fourth into this one so this pigeon hole contains at least two and so on maybe one scenario is that the four pigeons stay in the first in, in in one in one pigeon hole okay here is the first here is the second here's the third here's the fourth so no matter how you do there will be at least one pigeon hole which contains at least two pigeons okay so let me read the statement again before we solve some examples suppose there are n pigeons and m pigeon holes suppose that the pigeons are strictly bigger than the pigeon holes then one pigeon when the pigeons go to stay in the pigeon holes one pigeon hole must contain at least two pigeons okay there is at least one pigeon hole which has at least two pigeons okay let's see two simple examples of applications to the pigeon hole principle so suppose we have 15 people then at least two of them we are sure that at least two of them were born in the same month why how can we prove this we apply to the we apply the pigeonhole principle how do you apply the pigeonhole principle the people are the pigeons think of the people as the pigeons it remains to think what are the pigeonholes so the pigeonholes imagine here we have the first pigeonhole the second pigeonhole and the pigeon holes are the months imagine this pigeon hole is january this pigeon hole is february and so on up to the last pigeon hole which is december and now we ask the people the 15 people to fly and go into their pigeon hole so people who were born in january go to the pigeon hole january and people who were born in February go to the February pigeon hole and so on but how many so n is the pigeons is 15 and how many pigeon holes we have m is 12 okay and since n is bigger than m then this means by the pigeon hole principle one one pigeon hole must contain pigeon hole must contain at least two pigeons at least two people okay so imagine i don't know here is july and july contains at least two people then these two people were born in july okay so since 15 is bigger than 12 then we we are sure about this notice that actually the least number we need is 13 because we want the pigeons to be greater than the pigeon holes the pigeon holes are always 12 we have 12 months and so if you have 13 people you are pretty sure that there are two of the 13 people which were born in the same month okay to make it more interesting but now we need more pigeons suppose you are in a very big hole and there are 370 people in a very big hole and you have the microphone then you say I am very sure that in this hole there are 
sorry. Okay, you say that if there are 370 people in the hall, then you say, I'm certain that there are at least two people in the hall which were born, which have the exact same birthday. Okay, why is this? Because, okay, so these are the pigeons, the people are the pigeons again, but what are the pigeon holes? So we have a pigeon hole for people who were, who were born in the in 1st of January, and then another pigeon hole which for the people who were, were born in 2nd of January, and so on, and people who were born in 30, say, of July, and so on, until the people who were born in the 31st of December. So these are all possible days of the year. And how many, okay, how many days in the year we have? How many possible days? Okay, I think 365 or 66 days. So these are, these are what? These are the pigeonholes. Pigeon holes. Okay, now you ask the people to go to the pigeons, and since so this is n and this is m, since m is strictly bigger than m, then we must find some pigeon hole. I don't know, say 15 of September, which has at least two pigeons, two people. So these two people were born in the same day. The pigeonhole principle has many interesting applications in computer science and in mathematics. So uh, it, it is it is of good of uh, of high importance in in combinatorics and in mathematics in general. So here is it.